and I'm obsessed with thrifting. It's so bad. Literally, guys, I've gone thrifting, like, every week. Like, I would talk to my friend, one of my really good friends, Judith, on the phone, and she'll be like, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I'm thrifting. I'm thrifting. Lupias, it's Vanessa and welcome back to the channel so for today's video if you haven't watched my 2023 vision board and New Year's resolution video it will be linked up here click the I if you want some inspiration on some goals but I am determined to follow these goals and utilize and actually and complete them and One of my New Year's resolutions is to be productive. And in order to be productive, I was going through my video archive of things I filmed and there was a point in time where I went thrifting every couple days and I haven't used all the footage. <laughs> and I've found some really cool things, had some really good thrift hauls, so this video is gonna be a mishmash. The thing about thrifting that I love is just finding the cool stuff. It's like the treasure hunt. So this video is thrifting to find cool shit and I hope you guys enjoy it. I think that's why I'm addicted to winners too because winners has different clothing but thrifting it's secondhand. It's helping the, the earth. Before we get started though um if you like this video, make sure to give it a like for the YouTube algorithm, as well as click that subscribe button down below as I post every single Friday. And with that, let's get into the thrift hauls. Hello, everyone. So I went to Valley Village again. Number one, because it was five times the points, and also today, National Thrift Day, apparently. And they were giving out some pins if you made a purchase. So it says Thrift Proud. So I got a couple things. I might keep it for myself, but I thought it was so cool. So I actually saw a Pink Floyd tee when I went into Valley Village, but then I saw this and I thought it was really cool. So this is a vintage Walt Disney shirt and it's the Big Bad Wolf. Like remember that like musical with the Big Bad Wolf that plays like jazz music? It's like a little Mickey on the back. So cute, but yeah, it was $5.49, which I thought was pretty good, so. And the last thing I got is another thing I'm going to be reselling. It's a white leather jacket and it says Philip Russell. And I was like, real leather collection. And I'm like, oh, real leather. That's kind of cool. So anyway, I was like, okay, well, whatever. Let me like look them up and see. And they are an expensive brand, like more expensive or as expensive as Danier. So, but look, it's really cute. So it's like white. There's no damage to it, actually. White. It has a belt, some pockets, like it's actually a look. It's kind of cute, actually. Like, I would, I'd wear this. This is cute. So this was $24.99, which is a little bit, like, eh, expensive. But still, I thought it was really, really cute. Glad I got my little pin. So cute. I didn't film in the store, obviously, but I got a couple things. This isn't my bag. I bought this bag. We're going to start off with my finds from yesterday's Goodwill. Guys, I'm, like, obsessed with freaking thrifting. It's ridiculous. Okay, so the first thing I got... I got some Bitten by Sarah Jessica Parker jeans. I really like the wash. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like some bronzy-ish effect. Like, I don't know, it has that, like that vintage vibe. High waist, I love the bronzy details. I'm gonna try it on. The Sarah Jessica Parker jeans were $8.99. The next one I got, this is actually something I'm gonna sell. This was like a really expensive brand. <laughs> Their jeans, so the brand is American Tall. I thought it was good American, but it's not. Their jeans go for like $200. So anyway, I found one for $8.99, so I'm gonna try and resell this. I really like them, but they're way too tall for me because they're for, I think, people 5'8 and taller. Like, next one, I might keep for myself. The brand is Bella Amour, made in Italy. I really liked it. They were really, really soft. $6.99 for that one, so not too bad. I got it for Mitch, but if it doesn't fit him, then I'll sell it. It's a Under Armour crew neck, but it's like a beautiful like olive green color. Um, really, really good condition. It was $6.99. Really soft inside, so. And this last one, I think this is an anthropology brand or something, but it's called W5. I thought it was really cute. The knit, the detail of like the lines. Got this for $4.99. So in total, yesterday I spent $36.95. Not too bad. This one, 
I spent a little bit more. I spent double the money today, but you're gonna see what I bought. The first thing I got, it's a racer tee, embroidered as you can see, and this is something I'm actually gonna resell. So it was $3.99. This is a men's small, apparently. They sell for like $30. I might keep this for myself. I'm just not sure if it's gonna be itchy or not, but this is a Wilfred turtleneck. Ooh. Wilfred turtleneck, it's a size medium. It's wool, merino wool. I think it's really, really cute. I just don't know if it's too cropped for me. I don't know, we'll see. We'll try it on. $6.99. Next thing I got, I don't know if this is gonna fit me or not, but I got them because their green tags were half off, guys. So these are a pair of Free People corduroy pant skinnies. And on Poshmark, these actually sell for a lot of money. They sell for like $50. And guys, I got this for $6.99 and it was half off. So it was $3. Next thing I got, this is something I'm gonna sell again. I thought it was really cute. I really liked all the like different colored stars. This is actually an anthropology brand called Thimmel. And uh, this was $6.99, super soft, super cute. I was like on the fence on it because I don't know, like kind of looks kind of like childish, but people like stuff like this. And it's like different colors. And this again was green tag. So this was $3 and this is a Ted Baker t-shirt guys. The next thing I got, when I was looking up this brand, it's kind of like, it's it's hard if you don't really know brands. So this, when I saw this tag, guys, I was like, this looks a little expensive and it's like very, very like graphic -y, you know, whatever. I thought it was really, really cool. Um, be all in or get all out. I don't know. I thought it was really, really cool. So I got it. It was $4.99. This is a men's tank top. I don't know what the brand is. It has a number three on the back. I have to do more research, but for $4.99, this is also something I'm gonna resell. And this is an All Saints tee. All Saints, guys. Everyone knows All Saints. They're expensive. So I got this. It's just like a, it's a t-shirt, but it has like this lace detail in it. I don't know, I thought it was, it's kind of cool. It's like a nice basic, but it has a little bit of edge to it. Got it for $6.99. I think it's really cool though. Like, I don't know. I might keep this for myself. We'll see. <laughs> but this is a true religion graphic tee. So look at that. So there's the insignia there. And then look at the back. So cool. And this one I'm actually keeping for myself for sure. This is actually a Gymshark t-shirt. Um, but it's like a crop. Tea. I think it's just so cute with like the half cut off Gymshark. I don't know. I just think it's really cute with like some high waisted jeans or something. It'd be really, really cute. $6.99. This item I got for Mitch. So Mitch really likes Domo. I don't know why, but he likes Domo. So I got him. <laughs> I got him a Domo hat. It's so cute. It says Domo on the bottom and like it's a Domo brand. Like that's the brand here. I didn't even know they made stuff. It says bits. It's so cute. So it was $4.99. I don't know, Mitch loves Domo. I don't know why, but he's like an obsession with it. So anyway, I got this for him. It's in like impeccable condition. Like it's not dirty on the inside. I'm gonna still wash it. I never know with these hats, you know, with the brim, if it's like cardboard or plastic. I think it's plastic from the sounds of it. But anyway, we'll see. We'll try and figure out how to wash her. But you're probably wondering, why did you buy this bag, Vanessa? What is this? So I've seen these tapestry looking bags and they sell for a lot of money online, okay? So I looked up this bag and someone selling this exact bag, I was, sorry, sold this exact bag for $60 online. I got this for $9.99, guys, and it sold for $60, so. I did get some things from the thrift store. So the first thing I got is this E. Ponte Forenzi crocodile-ish leather bag. So it's like a brown leather. It's in pretty good condition. There's like some spots that like, they're not worn out. It looks like it's just dirty. So I'm just gonna clean it, like wipe it down. But it feels like good quality. Like this zips up really good. Like it's in really great condition. This was $14.99, which is a little bit on the pricier end, right? But I got it anyway because I saw on Poshmark one of these, like same type of print, but a bright orange and it was smaller. It sold for $165 and that's US. So I kind of like it for myself. It's kind of cute. But anyways, we'll, we'll think about that. I 
found another pair of helmet legs, guys. And it has the tag still on it. Oh, there's some damage here, I just realized. Uh, this ripped out. But it's okay. It's not like the end of the world. I think I can try and fix her and sew her back. I got this for $8.99, which I think is really good. So these are actually a pair of Tallulah. Everyone knows Tallulah with Aritzia, but obviously the tag was a bit different. It was like, so I think this might be like a vintage Tallulah pair of shorts. I don't know, but uh, what stuck out to me were the buttons originally. I think they were like kind of cute looking. And that concludes my thrift haul mishmash of finding cool shit. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm really happy with everything I found. If there was stuff that I'm going to resell, I'm gonna put the numbers here. Comment down below the favorite thrift find that I found. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as I post every single Friday. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye.